And you might just want to follow your nose here at Fantasy of Trees because the best scent on the convention floor comes from the gingerbread houses. This is the village, of course, filled with actual gingerbread houses decorated by school groups, businesses, nonprofits all over East Tennessee. And they are crafted with care by area bakers, chefs, and children. These beautiful gingerbread houses are a feast for the eyes. Baked, built, designed, and decorated by students at Farragut High School. We could do green and then you can do like the little things of red like that. Emily Latrakis says the challenge is locking down the decorating details and meeting relentless deadlines. We would sit there for like 10 minutes trying to decide if this looked good or if it didn't look good and like you like fall behind just trying to decide what you're doing. Nutrition instructor Lindsay Flatford decided to donate houses to the Fantasy of Trees Gingerbread Village more than a decade ago. It's a project for her classes every spring and fall. For her, supporting Children's Hospital is personal. My daughter Avery has cystic fibrosis and we found out she had CF at 18 months and we started spending a lot of time at Children's Hospital and we just realized how lucky we are to have that resource in our community. Avery is 15 now, plays softball, is an artist, and as an eighth grader last year, made her own house at home for Gingerbread Village, earning $350 for Children's Hospital. She was re really excited. So are these students. Our house will be bright yellow. I've learned we need time and patience, and so I, you know, we used to do it in a week, and now I've extended it to where it takes about two weeks to do the gingerbread houses. Students make their own patterns and cover the gingerbread in fondant. So the glass windows um, aren't glass, they're actually edible because all the houses have to be edible per uh, Fancy of Trees rules. The windows are gelatin sheets, basically clear jello. The structures themselves are homemade gingerbread. I have been using the same recipe since the very beginning, so they are gingerbread houses with ginger and cinnamon and molasses and all that typical stuff. Mmm, tasty, but don't eat them. They have been touched with lots of little hands, <laughs> and they've sat out, so they're probably a little stale. How much do we need to connect our house together? It is a hands-on charitable gift from these teens to other kids. And you're like creating what you're giving away, and you're not just like giving out things, you're like actually building it from scratch and then giving it away. You won't believe how many of them will show up and stand around and watch people point at their house and talk about their house. They get so excited about it. I'm Emily Stroud. Live at five at four. So I'm glad she cleared it up. We, we can't eat them. You might get more than you bargained for if you no, uh, no, snack you off some of those, yes. those houses. Yeah, absolutely. But they are for sale. Yes, they are. And more coming up on this special edition of Live at Five at Four, live from the 2018 Fantasy of Trees.